All right, sixth grade. Today we're going to be making ships in a bottle. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna start out with a white piece of paper. You're gonna, of course, write your name and class code on the back. Then you wanna start by sketching out your ship. So what I like to do is I like to start by making the neck of my ship. Now I don't go all the way, I don't start all the way at the edge of my paper because I want to leave room to make like a cork at the top. So I'm going to start with my neck. I'm pressing down much harder than I want you to press down because I want you to be able to erase if you make a mistake. But start with the neck. Then I kind of come out and I come all the way out. These are kind of exaggerated so that way we have a lot of room to draw the details inside. And then I like to just curve it at the bottom and then I have it kind of come up and back down like that. Then what I do is I kind of make for my cork, I kind of make a round piece like this. So that's kind of like the lip of my bottle. And then I want the cork to look like it's coming out the top, but you can of course see it through the bottle. So that's kind of what we're working with. Like I said, it's a little bit exaggerated. I kind of like to put an extra little line here. That's kind of like, for me, it's the, uh, the extra thickness of the glass at the bottom of the bottle. The bottom of the bottle is always a little bit thicker than the rest of the bottle. So that's just me showing that extra thickness of the glass. Then you can get started kind of drawing your details of your ship. So I think I might start by drawing some water And then maybe I'll make my ship come up. And this is of course where you can get really creative on what kinds of things you're gonna add to your ship. Now I think I might make mine a pirate ship. So maybe, maybe I'll add some flags and on one of my flags I'll make a, um, like a skull and crossbones or something. So maybe this will be my big skull and crossbones flag. Now to kind of make the flags look like they're blowing in the imaginary breeze that's in this bottle, I kind of curve the lines. And that's how you can kind of make them look like they're blowing in the breeze. So now I'm gonna add my skull and crossbones. Yours, of course, does not have to be a pirate ship. You can make it whatever kind of ship you would like it to be. Now the reason we're drawing it on here first is of course if we make any mistakes, we can erase it. But then once you're completed with your design on your paper, then we're going to transfer that to our transparency paper. I know for you guys, it's probably hard to see this on the video, but it's a thin plastic sheet. And once you're finished, you can see, I tried to fill up a lot of my space in my ship. You can put all kinds of cool things in there. I've seen people put like little uh, pirate penguins. I've seen people do mermaids. I've seen people do all kinds of cool stuff. One year I had, um, people had a, um, I think it was an octopus like stuck to the side of their um, ship. So come up with something really cool. Then what you're gonna do is lay your transparency on top. And then you're gonna go over your lines. 
Now I like to just kind of go over everything with my black first and then I color in with a fun colors. Now once you draw on the transparency, it's there forever. There's no really erasing on the transparency, so that's why I said that's why we start with the paper. So any mistakes are on the paper and not on your transparency. There we go. Now at this point you could probably take your paper out from underneath, but just for the sake of the video so you can see my colors really well, I'll leave it on there. Also though, before you finish up with your black, make sure you write your name and class code somewhere along the edge. Super close to the outside edge, so that way when we cut out our um, ship your name is still on, really close to your ship. I'm finished with my ship and now I can get into coloring. So of course I think I'm gonna do, oops, you know what? I might go back and add some kind of little like holes in my cork, because corks are kind of messy and holy. There we go. Then I'm gonna go in with my brown, I'm going to, of course, do that on my ship. You don't have to have a brown ship. You could have a purple ship. Make it look really cool and unique. Then... I think maybe I'll make these front couple kind of cool for some of the some of my uh, make some of my flags kind of cool and make them kind of a couple different colors. So maybe you can kind of do this, make the bottoms kind of a jaggedy edge. And then you can take another color and kind of blend those in together. very last thing I like to do is add a light blue edge all around the edge of my bottle to kind of give it that look of real glass since glass always tends to have a little blue or green tint to it and then once you're completely finished you're going to cut off the excess transparency paper. You're going to leave a little bit as a, try to show you here, leave a little bit on the outside, about half an inch or a quarter of an inch all the way around. So we don't want to cut right up against your lines. So we'll leave a little bit of a border.
All right, guys, and there you have it, our finished ships in a bottle. Make sure you're trying to have these be super, super cool and unique.